focus shifts back over to the camp. This conversation between Iska and Kel has gone late into the night. Buck and Luna and uh, Iskren have gone to bed. Celia taking her normal first watch. And Axel awake on that cusp between light and shadow made by the campfire continues with his work. Axel, I turn it to you. It's just sort of sitting there. He has a small little branch sort of dug into the sand on it by its stem. He goes up with two little sticks poking out. He's trimmed them off into hands. And then on the top little head of the uh, spines to make up the green little head of hair beneath that broad smile being carved into the bark and two eyes. And two eyes are actually he's picked up a couple of rocks and sort of set them in there. And sort of on its chest, well where its chest would be between the arms, there's a single rune carved in there. It's been sitting there for ten minutes watching reaches out taps the room and shines first golden then sort of drifts to white into a green before it settles in the limbs of the creature of this little stick shift and droop slightly as if they're no longer sticks, they are limbs, tendrils, head twists, the mouth carved in there, moves, as this little stick golem is brought to life. As he looks down, he reaches out with his decayed hand reaches out and grips onto his finger. Hello. I'm your daddy. And he starts crying. As he's been very good at bringing death and destruction. And now, life. And that's where we're going to end today's session. Thank you, everyone, for turning in. Um, 